Hey guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to use Amiibo for a Semu emulator. So, we're going to get started by going to... So there's going to be a QR code on your screen at this point, but or I'm going to link it in the description. I'll probably do the QR code though. So, now that we've opened the Google Drive that uh, all the Amiibos are on, you go. we're going to, since we're using The Legend of Zelda, Breath of the Wild Amiibos for the Semu emulator. We're going to open this up, and then we're going to just use the one from Link's Awakening. So we're going to load up Link's Awakening Amiibo, and then we're going to double-click it. So after you double-click it, this screen will pop up. Oh, I missed a step. So you could come to this screen, but first you want to open up your file explorer, and then you're going to go to desktop and make a new folder. I already have one for my Amiibos, but um, you're going to want to make a folder for it. So you're going to put Amiibo. Since I already have one titled Amiibo, I'm going to put Amiibo 2. You don't have to put the two, just title it Amiibos, so it's easier to find. So now that we have our folder, we can open it, open it up, and then we're going to click the minus button so we don't close it, but it's not on our screen anymore. So now that... We have this, we're going to download it. And then this will pop up right here. And then we're going to click off that screen. And then you're, no, you don't want to open it. Sorry about that. Let's just download it again. Download. Okay. So now we want to drag it. And then you want to drag it down to your File Explorer on your on your taskbar so that we want to drag it into our folder so that's pretty much how you do it but you want to go through all of them like all of these different things you want to get all the amiibos that you can based on the amount of storage you have i can get all of them because i have quite a bit of storage but that's how we do it so now we're going to load up our emulator so we can just close this right now and then we can also close Google. So we're going to, and then we're going to full screen here. So, and then I'm going to start my game. So while this is loading up, it will only take a minute. So now while your game's loading in, I have a video about how to get the emulator itself, I'll have to do a video on BCML and on how to get the games sometime soon. I have to do a video on that because it's pretty important. So the BCML is pretty much a cross-platform mod loader. This thing right here it allows you to get mods for uh, this game. So now that we're here, we're going to... Wait for our game to load in. It better hurry up because, well, just should hurry up. So now we're going to continue our game and we're going to load in at Hentino Village. We're almost into the game. Move this out of the way. Um, it's pretty easy. So you have to make sure that you have your amiibo rune on. That may be a reason that it's not working for you. But you can't use your cards, which is a little bit frustrating, even if you're using a pro controller for Nintendo. So, now that we're here, we are... So, um, we're loaded in. What you need to do is, so you got to pull out your Amiibo rune right there. It's usually not this slow. I think it's because I'm recording. But, and then you got to aim it at the ground. That's very important. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go into NFC, scan NFCs, and, okay, so we're going to go to desktop, Amiibo 2, open it up, Link's Awakening, open. And then, there you go. And all your stuff falls with your amiibo. 
Thank you so much for watching. Goodbye.